I've got a board full of Mastered Evolution units and $20 to make a Dokkan Dream Team. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, man, does it actually feel really good to be back here staring at a Dokkan battle board. It's been too long since we've did this. It's doing the Master Evolution board today to celebrate Trunks' release. So in tradition, we gotta keep it fair. We gotta keep it just. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pick the boy up for free. And the first thing you'll notice about this board is there is a lot of Vegeta. The man masters his evolutions. I don't know what to tell you. All right, so right away, Trunks already has that weird thing in his passive where he's got a he wants like Android Cell Saga characters around him. So I'm kind of targeting them a little bit. So to start us off for $4, let me go ahead and grab the boy STR Super Vegeta. Does Trunks count himself for those three allies? All right, $16 and four units to choose from. We're going to take a break from the Android Cell Saga units because for $5, I got to use him. He's brand new and I haven't used him yet. Got to get my first time using him on screen. Let me go ahead and grab the boy Physical Transforming Vegeta for $5. And let me go ahead and pull out my calculator because I'm already losing track of how much money we have. Three units and $11 to choose them with. Let's see, more Android Cell Saga. I guess we'll continue the onslaught of Vegeta's because for $4, let me go ahead and grab AGL Super Saiyan Vegeta from the Cell Games when he got mad when Trunks died. All right, I'm about to make a risky purchase, but trust me, it's for a good cause. For $1, let me go ahead and grab Int Super Saiyan Prime. Ugh, I can't even say it. Int Prime Battle super saiyan vegeta god that nigga is trash and to wrap it all up with six dollars left let me go ahead and grab the homie agl super saiyan gohan that transforms into super saiyan 2 and with that our team is complete as always you guys can tweet me over on twitter with your completed runs and let me know if you were able to beat the event all right and on your screen right now is the mastered evolution team we're going to be using today i'm actually very excited more than anything to see what transforming vegeta can do now because i read his easy a i didn't really watch any gameplay on it but from what i read i was pretty impressed so I definitely want to see what my boy can cook. The only thing I'm really scared of on this team is that garbage ass Int Prime Battle Vegeta. He's so ass, dude. He's so ass. I literally couldn't even tell you why he's ass because why would I even remember? His passive isn't even memorized to me. Poof. There's no reason for it to be in my mind. I should also mention that the event we're taking on today is Red Zone Cell because Trunks has some stuff in his passive where he needs to fight a cell enemy. So plus it's long enough to where we'll get to see a lot of what the characters can do. And we'll probably get to see Transformer Vegeta go up to blue. That's everything on my checklist. So without further further ado let's quit wasting time let's get into it you know, for a second, I thought that I forgot to like turn on intros, but really this Trunks just doesn't have a lot of animations going on for him. And this friend Trunks we found is 90%, by the way. I don't know. We might have to let him. He might have to let him be the star of the showcase. 217k defense start of turn. Look, mine's only 148. To be fair, though, my Trunks is link level ones. I, I didn't really throw him in the link level auto clicker last night because I don't know, man. It's Trunks. I wasn't I was I'm, I'm saving all that energy for worldwide. Speaking of, I guess while we set up Trunks' turn here, we could talk about Worldwide because it is literally all anybody can talk about right now. And there's one man whose name is in the mouth of millions. You can dodge? Eight, damn, hold on. That's a fucking attack stat. In base? Because I remember reading this and not really liking base form. Look at this dude. He's dropping damn near nine mils. But like I was saying, there's one man who's... She just triple supered. Okay, either this guy's trunks is built crazy or is some of this part of his kit? Okay, at least he didn't do a fourth one. And his high chance to guard activated. Nice. But there's one man whose name is in everybody's mouth and y'all already know who it is. He's got Saiyan gloves, Saiyan boots, and two fire earrings on his ear i'm talking about my boy vegeto now you guys already know i've talked endlessly on this channel about the fact that dokkan is actually starving us on summonable vegeto units we are literally coming up on three years since the last new summonable vegeto in dokkan battle and personally that's not acceptable to me oh and my trunks even did an additional nice uh, we just one turned imperfect cell okay thank you super effective Ooh, and we got one of the start to are all three of these motherfuckers super saiyan vegeto they are. That's actually fucking hilarious. All right, we can already see where I fucked up with the team building. I think this Vegeta gets defense per orb, so he's at 123 weapons if I grab these orbs. What are we working with now? Or maybe it was attack and there was no defense maybe i'm thinking of the other way around either way what does it matter we literally have no links this turn we're just gonna pray that attack in the back is not a fucking super on trash prime battle vegeta even his sprite is trash look at him something about his body is just awkward you said my body's awkward be more respectful don't body shame i'm on 
honestly also low-key thinking about popping a weast this turn. I just really don't trust some of the units here. But fuck it, I'll try and believe. I'll try and believe. Like I was saying, Vegito is on everybody's mouth right now because everybody's waiting on the next Vegito now. There's a theory, not a theory, but more so, I believe, and I don't really have many sources on this because I haven't seen the video where apparently he said this, but apparently Nano is really big on possibly a Vegito for the ninth anniversary. And while y'all know, I would love my boy Vegito to be an anniversary character again. While I would love my boy Vegito to be an, an Vegito, sorry. Vegito to be an anniversary character again. I'm sorry. You're not, I, you cannot ask me to wait another six months for a summonable Vegito. I can't do it. I can't do it the vegeto drop has been going on too low we are taking so much damage is that one but bro's only doing one million this nigga is so guard is he gonna die on the normal please don't make me die on the normal this nigga is so trash oh my god why did i actually flinch and why did he take less damage than the agl vegeta maybe i was disrespecting him too much all right i'm leaving super vegeta in the first slot so that way he just doesn't die because that's only a healing attack up there but nah there's no i can't let you guys ask me to wait six more months for another vegeta and and I'm telling you right now, I've been singing the praises of this on Twitter. I don't think there's anything they can drop for worldwide that would be more successful. Oh, you can stun this dude? But I was saying, I don't think there's anything they can drop that would be more successful than double Vegito worldwide. A lot of people are talking about, oh, but what about the villains? The villains for double Vegito worldwide would literally be the best case scenario. Two big bad bosses villains, Buhan, who could possibly transform into Kid Buu, therefore fixing one of the great Dokkan myths of the world a fuse of Masu that actually goes into like the corrupted form which by the way is not a different name in the game i feel like a lot of people think that he's actually not they're both just called fuse of Masu in the game what was i just talking about <laughs> dude i don't know what it is about recording these dokkan videos it's so easy for me to zone out like i will just look off into the distance and then all of a sudden i forgot everything i was talking about Oh shit, those orbs just gave me a Trunks active skill. I don't know what this does, but I feel like we gotta try and get all his active skills in this video, right? Cause I know apparently it's different between his base form and his super form. So let's just see what this one's cooking. Either you join Double Vegeta Worldwide or die! Ha! Oh, he nullifies an attack for the turn. Well, there goes Cell. Bye, Bugman. Trunks putting on his best Broly cosplay right now. We're already fighting Perfect Cell. Is this almost over? All right, well, funny enough, we're gonna get to see another Trunks active skill because I don't know if you know about the two Vegetas in this rotation. They will get us killed. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this entire turn. Ugh. Hey, Cell! Don't you know that I'm my father's son? Ha! Damn! Why did he stun and delete all his attacks in the turn? That's so overkill. Also wrong hybrid, but that was the joke. I just, you know, that super attack caught me off guard. What also is catching me off guard is this man's defense, 652K? He's guarding attacks right now, by the way, in case you were curious. But yeah, I've been hearing a ton of ideas get tossed around for worldwide and just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to the Broly fans. I'm sorry to the Future Saga fans. None of them sound better than fifth. I literally just gave myself hiccups with that. 15 million from Trunks. He's he's gonna kill Cell by himself. Yeah, he was definitely gonna do an additional. He is, dude, I love that leg sweep he does at the beginning of that super attack. Goodbye, Cell. Imagine if this fight went like that in the anime and Trunks actually didn't get completely embarrassed. Oh, look, and Vegeta's transfer. We're actually probably not gonna get Vegeta to fully transform, are we? Oh, speaking of transforming, another Trunks is. But I'm sorry, double Broly worldwide, that's just a four Saiyan celebration. Who wants that? You know what? Actually, don't answer that because it's actually probably a lot of you. And I personally wouldn't be mad at a double or not double quadruple saying like I, i'm never i'm never mad that we're getting saiyans it's dragon ball you would just be stupid to sit here and be like oh i don't want saiyans at that point you probably need to go find you another franchise or definitely another game oh shit is this the cell that only supers i forgot all about this 313 okay trunks actually needs to kill here 10 million link level ones that's not bad at all this dude's only 55 i only pulled the one copy shout out to phase girl for the donation on stream 11 million trunks you need to you need to keep these coming bro because i don't know how much more of this stuff we can survive i think he's guaranteed critting right now too this trunks is low key just not not watered down that's not the right term he's like super vegeta 2 i remember when super vegeta came out and everybody was hyping him up like he was the best unit in the game i was personally never really on the train but i mean 
mean, guaranteed stuns, guaranteed crits, at least in events where you can do that stuff, you can't underrate it. All right, I think this is the final phase. I feel like this ended so fucking quickly. Is this even enough for a video? I mean, I could have fought Omega, but there was no shot I was about to fight Omega with this fucking team. Hell no. We wouldn't even make it past the first phase. I mean, look at our HP. We're literally already hanging on by a thread. And you know what? Before people start accusing me in the comments, I will be 100% transparent with you. It is part of me wanting double Vegito worldwide spite that we got a double Gogeta anniversary? Absolutely. fucking lutely And it's not even spite. I don't think spite's the right word. It's literally only fair. Vegeta, or I'm sorry, Gogeta gets a double anniversary. You could just give the other big celebration of the year to Vegito and he could get a double. Plus, I definitely prefer the worldwide carnival format. The thing is, so with anniversary, especially global players, you guys are just getting out of eighth anniversary. So you're fresh on this. You definitely know what I'm talking about. If we got, uh, if we got Vegito anniversary, right? How would that even fit into the carnival format? I literally asked that because we just get four super class units. What other two super class units do you drop alongside Vegitos? Now there is a possibility that if they do like double super fusions, not Dragon Ball super, but like super Gogeta and super Vegito, and then they could do their villains for part two. We also need to let that go. When do they ever actually do that how many celebrations have we been like oh well they're just gonna drop the villains is the carnival units at the end and then they literally never do like at, literally never all right we literally have under 100,000 hp it's another ugly turn which means we're popping another trunks i've also seen a lot of people mention how they don't want a double like anything they kind of want the celebration to be more diverse and while i agree with that dokkan is really dokkan is not like legends in the way that dokkan is very strong on their themes celebrations in dokkan always have some theme they revolve around and actually i think that's part of why why people really use the fifth anniversary of Legends to try and dunk on Dokkan because Legends just drops characters and there's nothing wrong with that as a matter of fact in terms of just generating hype that's probably better for like your player base right like just throwing hype units out there is he gonna crit okay no he didn't but he did additional nice just throwing hype units out there i think is fine because look at the roster for legends fifth year anniversary you got superhero in there you got dragon ball super uh actually was it all dragon ball super actually yeah it was all dragon ball super well it was all dragon ball super and there we go they're cell dead and yeah that's definitely the final phase of that wow but i'll finish my point before i wrap up the video legends can just drop like any care like vegeto blue the two superhero lfs and the end of dragon ball super other than just being under the dragon ball super title and franchise those three moments really have no correlation at all literally zero and legend was able to drop all of them into one celebration whereas dokkan they theme their stuff you know one anniversary is fusions it'll be vegito and gogeta and the other anniversary is goku and vegeta whether that be them teaming up or getting their own separate units dokkan is always very committed to staying in a the theme so that complete diversity of units in celebrations it's kind of just it's kind of a pipe dream unless they start which i wouldn't complain i probably just want to see how that turns out especially since I've seen a lot of people pitch for ninth anniversary, like an MUI part one or Beast Gohan part two, or you reverse the two, or you drop them both in part one, and then like their respective fights at the end, whatever, right? My point is, while I would love the celebrations to be a little more diverse, we just got to stick with what we know that Dokkan usually does. And I know they've been breaking a lot of patterns this year, but I don't know, man. I feel like the only way to correspond the double Gogeta anniversary is a double Vegeta worldwide. Everybody eats, especially me. I will be having a buffet. And I'll tell you right here, this is dangerous words to say, but it's true. Double Vegeta worldwide they're both getting rainbowed <laughs> absolutely both getting rainbowed but anyway there we go that was mastered evolution i feel like we were barely in that event hopefully this is enough for a video if it's not i probably got to throw something else in here but if it was i hope you guys enjoyed if you enjoyed the video make sure to like comment and subscribe and actually let me know in the comments too what do you want for worldwide are you on the double vegeto agenda you fucking better be or we're gonna have a problem no like dead ass me and you an actual issue i don't want to fight you you're my friend if you're on the double vegeto worldwide agenda you are right Anyway, with that being said, guys, this is Slavix, signing off. Later.